Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I straighten my hair. How I straighten my hair when it's already dried and I don't feel like washing it before I straighten it because you know, life is unpredictable these days, and so am I. <laughs> so, I just wanted to straighten my hair because it's been a hot second since I've done it, and I just, I need a change, but I don't want to dye my hair because the last time I dyed my hair, I bleached my hair, and then it all broke off, and I had to cut it all off. And that's why my natural hair journey started all over again, and why I'm only now reaching armpit lift. Because, um... When you bleach your hair, you destroy your hair. Don't do it, kids. And so I don't want to dye my hair. And so this is the craziest thing I'm doing so far because I need a change. You know what they say about a woman who changes her hair? She's about to change her life. <laughs> okay, stay tuned. And like, comment, subscribe. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my hair slightly damp. I don't have a spray bottle. I used to. I don't know what it went. Um, so I'm just gonna grab some water from the sink and drip it on my hair with my hands because I can do that. I'm losing my mind here, you guys. I'm like literally losing my mind. <laughs> literally just gonna drip it on my hair. Look, I have like water spots on my shoulder already. It's cool. It's cool. Drip, drip, drip. This is also a great way to get your entire bathroom wet. Once your hair feels properly um, lubricated in H2O, turn that sink off and divide your hair into four sections. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're not and neither am I. Divide it in two sections. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, well that's just gonna how how it's gonna do, how it, how it be. Twist and oh my god! And then the last one, but this one I'm gonna leave out because I'm gonna detangle it really quickly. I'm using the Giovanni Direct Leave-In big bottle that you can get from uh, TJ Maxx. I'm gonna rub it on. I'm gonna take a wide tooth comb and detangle, starting at the ends. The ends, don't do the roots. Although sometimes I do that. Don't do it. It'd be better than me. <laughs> and I'm just gonna detangle it. Okay, so that's one section done. I think I'm going to quickly do the other three sections off camera because my phone has limited space. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to twist this up and put it back in a clip. One section detangled. I'll come back when the other three sections are detangled. So I finally detangled all my hair. Yay! Uh, I'm going to put on some of my heat protectant. So the one I like to use is the, I guess, Icy Fantasia, Fantasia Hair Polish Oil Heat Protector. You can find this at any um, natural beauty salon, natural beauty supply store. I just really like the way it smells. It smells like strawberries. <laughs> And um, it gives my hair like a nice like little shine to it too. So I use a good amount and I put it all throughout my hair. Comb your fingers through it too because sometimes the middle of the section doesn't get as saturated with the serum. Because it all just kind of like lays on top. The house right now I'm using is from Kaposi. I like it because it has, tells me how hot it is. I hope it's like the right way. Yeah, it tells me how hot it is and you can change the settings. Um, I keep it around like 380 because I don't want to burn my hair. 
So I'm gonna take a tiny little section in the back. Usually I use a rat tail comb, but I have no idea what mine is. And usually if I lose something, I can just go quickly to the store and pick it up. But I can't because it's content quarantine time. Can't just stop at Sally's. <laughs> So I'm just gonna use my white tooth comb. Which is probably fine, like I wanna straighten my hair, but I don't need it to be bone straight. Oh, let me show you guys how much hair I've lost so far. Not that much. So a tiny little section. And just slowly pull it down. My hair is a little bit more wet than I intended. That's why it's sizzling. I, like, I know a lot of beauty people don't like to go through the hair more than once because it heat damages it. I try to stick to just two times. And then maybe at the end I'll go run it through like a couple of times. But yeah, two times enough to get it pretty straight. See, almost right at armpit lip. It's growing. It only took more than three years, but it's growing. <laughs> oh, let me show you guys how much my hair shrinks. Look at that comparison. Cute little hair. is real, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera and I'll cut back to you guys when I'm doing the front. All right, so I have done three sections on my hair. And I just have one more section left. I saved the best for last because <laughs> I wanted you guys to see um, close up how I do straighten my hair. So just a wee bit of this heat protector, wee bit as in a lot, and I'm gonna spread it all over my hair. He just asked me if I was doing my hair because he smelled something burning. Ah! Okay, so now that I have all this hair protector in my hair, I'm going to keep protector in my hair. I'm going to do a little section right here. Eels are always precarious because they're so sensitive and I have burned my ear more than once. So just be safe here. Be safe, you guys. Look at all that product burning off. And brush it out a little bit. One section down. I try to do as thin sections as I can. It takes longer but it's better for your hair and it gets it more straight especially since I'm using such a low heat. No matter what like my hair is not gonna get bone straight it's gonna be a little um poofy. <laughs> I just try to do two very slow passes over. And then I move on. Because you can't hold on to things and you can't strive for perfection all the time. Because perfection leads to heat damage. <laughs>
divide it up in half. Flip the front. We'll wrap it one or two. And just focus on a little small section. Yeah, because it helps me get all and get it as straight as possible because sometimes when it's a big section I miss like the back a little bit. Sometimes I straighten my hair just because um, I feel like it needs a really good deep detangling and this is one of the few ways I can really deeply detangle it. Also, like, I think my ends might need a little bit of a trim, so killing two boards with one stone. to be oval. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to twist it up really tightly and I'm just going to let my hair basically just cool down and in a little bit I'll let it go and I'll style it a little bit. Ha ha ha, style it. I don't really do anything. I comb it over a little bit and call it a day. And there you go. Okay, so I'll be back. <laughs> Bye. Alright guys, I just want to finish off this video really quickly. So I didn't really explain why I twisted up my hair. So, uh, because I straightened my hair so it's a low temperature, it's not going to get it bone straight, like I said a couple of times. So what I do is I twist up my hair into a very tight little, um, just once twist. And then it helps to keep my hair straight as it cools down, it gets it a little bit straighter. The roots are still going to be a little puffy, but, and also I get these cute little waves, super cute. And just carefully separate it because you don't, my hair like, <laughs> it will go puffy straight so quickly and it's so annoying especially in the summer when it's like the humidity is like crazy it was just poof and i just have a straight afro so the back side time for the front see how the ends are kind of like stuck together a little bit I need to do a trim. I need to trim! If I comb, it will just like And all of my hard work will be ruined. So this is when I use my fingers to separate. <laughs> Not when it's natural and curly and I'm trying to comb it through. This is when I do it. So I'm not a big fan of middle pots, like for every day, so what I'm going to take is this comb 
and I'm gonna put right over like my eyebrow. Carefully separate and bring it over. Walk my fingers through my hair. If you wanted more defined curls, I would say um, do a bantu knot. That's what it's called. That's what I, I couldn't think of the name of it. When you do your bantu knot to do more of them, I just said four. So I get like these big loose waves, but if you do small bantu knots, you will get more defined waves. Let me step back so you can see it all. I got some body up in this beyond and some fullness and yeah there you go my quarantine look big hell don't care okay if you like this tutorial let me see you If you like this tutorial, please comment. Comment down below. When was the last time you straightened your hair? I don't know the last time I straightened my hair. Have I done it this year? I did it this year. I think I did it in January. So it's been three ish months since I've done my hair, straightened my hair. <sighs> Lip check. <laughs> oh, I just love it. It's just, I don't know. I needed a new look. No one's gonna see it but my cat and my fiance, so. Okay. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you didn't, I hope I was entertaining. And see you guys next week.